but we're just going to do another quick video exposing the true nature of Stephen Ames' new IFB cult. In this case, it's once again showing the kind of intimidation tactics they use against their critics, and the type of intimidation tactics that Steven Anderson's new IFB cult uses against their critics are literally no different than what Antifa would use against their opponents. It's no different. See, it's, it's these witchcraft style, you know, get in your face and try to intimidate their opponents. Get in your face and try to heckle you and, you know, harass you at your home and everything else. Yeah, Stephen Anderson's new IFB is truly the Antifa of the Baptist movement. And it's interesting, too, because not only are they totally alien to traditional Baptist beliefs and ideology and doctrine, but they're much more in common with brown shirt Nazis or communist Antifa in terms of how of their tactics, which is totally alien to, again, traditional Baptist doctrine, which we'll be coming up with a video on that, showing how they're totally alien to what is essentially their, their binos, their Baptist in name only. And stuff like this is proof of the truth of the witchcraft style nature of Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult. Check this out. Yeah, what Anderson does, and I mean, he literally instructs his people join a church and start passing out my DVDs. Uh, he was very open. There's no, there's no uh, restrictions on these people. I call them the Antifa of Christianity. Uh, it used to be to disagree with somebody politically that they wouldn't be at your door like these folks that showed up at this uh, Tucker Carlson's door. Uh, same thing. Uh, Anderson's people think they have every right to go into a church and uh, call the members and everybody they can to follow them. And so there was a fellow in this church here, uh, a young man, and uh, I kind of called him out and he took off. But... Um, one day, you know, we, we live, we are the only house on this street, and we are on church property. So it's not like you would be in the neighborhood door knocking here. And um, I was out, uh, I'd been doing some work around the church, just painting some stuff. My wife was out in the backyard washing the windows. So these guys came to the door. Uh, my wife didn't hear them, and I wasn't here. But uh, they knocked at the door, there were about 16 of them. They were Anderson people because he's starting a church. He's got one of his lackeys starting a church here in the Boise area. But they were here. They knew that I lived here. So it wouldn't be a case of, let's see if this guy wants to come to our church. It was basically, uh, I would say harassment with these guys. It's more intimidation. It's more bullying. But our, um, our groundskeeper was just pulling off the property, and he saw him, this, this herd, this gang of people, seven cars, uh, and he pulled, pulled over, you know, uh, asked them what they wanted, and, and they got a little sharp with him, a little belligerent, you know. But uh, then they left because they didn't know what to do. So, yeah, they showed up my door. I'll guarantee you, uh, they had uh, one guy knocking at the door, and the other one had his phone in his hand ready to record a video because these people have no power of God whatsoever. Uh, God did not make Stephen Anderson. The Internet did. And um, everything he does is Internet. Everything they do is Internet. So they like a gotcha moment. They, they like to call you up and, uh, and say, oh, look, he, he uh, melted down, or they like to catch you on a video, because it's the only thing they have. So I'll guarantee you there was a guy there ready to take my uh, video and have me blowing up where you do my front door, that kind of thing. And the Lord is very gracious. She just didn't have me there. I just wasn't there, because I probably would have blown up. They couldn't say they were visiting. You know, no one goes door knocking with, uh, you know, 16 people, it just really does that. It was plainly intimidation. Just a heads up, you know, I mean, I, I, I was going to say this before I showed the clip, but, you know, I don't totally agree with Sam Gipp on everything, but Sam Gipp has been exposed in their cult. So what do they do? Well, because they can't refute his scripture, they can't refute his message, they have to try to attack the messenger. So they have 16 people, you know, goons from Anderson's little cult, uh, show up and you know Sam Gip is right they probably one of them was probably holding a video camera because again they got these guys all the power they have is not from God it's from the electricity going into their internet routers because without the internet there'd be no new IFB and Anderson will send his little internet thugs from his internet cult to go on and intimidate pastors across America who oppose or criticize the new IFB it's no different than any other you know group like the Nation of Islam or something like that it's no different. In fact, they have the same kind of spirit that uh, the Nation of Islam, or just Islam in general, really. They have this Islamic type mentality of having to confront and try to harass and, and oppose their enemies. It's no different. And when you have Pope Anderson on his little pedestal over in Phoenix, Arizona, the internet pastor that he is, 
giving orders, marching orders to his to his little cyber thugs. Well, the recipe for a disaster, the recipe for them actually showing up at your home like a bunch of Antifa communist Marxist thugs. So I want to show you guys that. This is why you're supposed to have a pastor in First Timothy chapter three, verse one to seven, who meets qualifications, or Titus chapter one, verse five to nine, who meets qualifications. Not some internet thug over in uh, Tempe, Arizona. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.